Hello everybody and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. Yeah, I've decided that um because Dive is taking forever to actually render properly that I was going to do this. Which I feel this is actually a really good alternative because this is a really cool game. Um so as you can tell I have Smeghead Industries, we're actually gonna change this slightly because I'm going to start a new game. But uh, before I start, I just want to say that I got really, really good at this game, as you'll see as I open this up. It also might be a bit laggy because I have a really crap computer. But, you know, life goes on. So there's a little bar thing. Yeah, as you can see, I got to the... if this will load. So yeah, as you can tell, I kind of got to the end of the game and I had too much money. Um, there was just an update, actually, I just saw. I don't know, maybe they did something here. Star project, anything new? No. So yeah, no, I got to the end of the game, I've created my own console, actually I created two of them, I believe. I have 15.8 million fans, I have more money than I know what to do with. I have all my staff, they're all leveled up. Um, but, you know, what's the fun in just showing you that? So, we're gonna start from the very beginning. Oh, yeah. I'm actually gonna do myself a favor here real quick. One sec. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so what, I just I just switched around my thing. So, we're gonna press escape here. It's gonna take forever to load because my computer's crap. This game's excellent, but my computer's crap. So, we're gonna create a new game. Um, and so my plans for this are that if this becomes a series, no, if this becomes a series, what I want to do is I want to have you guys come up with ideas for games, um, because, you know, that seems pretty cool, you know, to have you guys do stuff, by you guys I mean like all one of you, yeah, um, Skip the tutorial because I played this game way too much. Um, this is actually my most played game on Steam. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so I'm gonna come up with a company name. But yeah, no, I play this game to death though, like genuinely. So company name. Well, Smeg Head, and last time was Industries. So now we have Studio. Z is this Mechhead Studios or Mechhead Studio? Studios. Um, player name. Well, we're just gonna be. Kachwold. Yete. Six. As per usual. I think I'm gonna be a female this time. I've always been a male. I'm gonna be a guy. Or I'm gonna be a chick this time. Let's see. She'll do. Since you've played the game before, you can choose all previously gained hints in this game. Would you like to import previously gained? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, sorry, I just breathe heavily into the mic. I'm gonna leave this one because, as you can tell, I kind of yeah, 101 years. But I don't care about this one, so we'll take this one. Uh, yes, I would really like to overwrite that save game. Well, I clicked yes. Would you like to work? Thank you. Okay, so if you don't know how this game works, essentially what you do is you have your little character here, and it's you, you develop games. It's the you know most important thing about this. So uh, for the first few times, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick my own. Um, mm. We're gonna go with zombies. We're gonna yes, we're gonna go with zombies. We're gonna pick um a zombie a zombie action game. It's cause it's a great combo, because I already knew this. And uh, we're gonna start with PC. Yeah, I never touched the uh G sixty four. So what should we name this game? We should name it um uh, uh, Zombie Explosion yeah, woot, uh, woot. Um, no. 
Uh, I need to come up with an actual name for this. Um, what was that movie? Tango and Cash. Yeah, let's make, let's do Z Zombo and Credit Card. Yeah. So in this game, Zombo and Credit Card. You play as a zombie who was she this this zombie was one of those stereotypical um very american very capitalistic girls who love to shop and so even after she became a zombie she wanted to shop but unfortunately all the shops well they were they were you know shut down but like all of them that survived in the end are now like barricaded and have people with shotguns and stuff. Well, she wants to get into those shops, so you have to go through all the gunfire and everything so you can buy all of your um, bullocks. Yeah, See, I'm good at this, and it's going to be a 2D graphics game, V1, and yeah, we're going to just wait for her to do this. So you start off with that. Um, I play again. I play this game a lot, so I know how everything works. See all these right here? They are hints to tell you what what's good for this particular genre and what's not. Gameplay is a two, an engine gets a three plus. In story and quest isn't important at all because it's an action game. You know, I mean, have you ever played Call of Duty? <laughs> yeah, I want to make fun of Call of Duty. That said, I might eventually play it, but I don't have a game capture card, so how can I right now? Um, yeah, I would love to stick to PC, but at some point, I'll show you my PC, and you'll see why I'm not going to do that. So, you know, you choose all of the ones, hopefully choose the right ones, and then she fills up these. Um, and sometimes she'll fill up bugs, which, you know, she'll iron out at the very end. Um, I'm going to give her an actual name other than just uh, a couple of 86. Uh, her name is... Uh, 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 um... Mariah. There we go. That'll be her name. Mariah. No particular reason for choosing that name. Um, I'm sorry. No, but it's just, I don't know. I like the name. So, yeah. Mariah here. She's working on the game. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of go through. Um, this game is going to be excellent in graphics. Graphics that are 2D version one ignore this and it's only halfway good for sound I've played this game all the way through about three times now and for whatever reason it still refuses to just tell me for sure <sighs> but life goes on okay so you'll notice again so design points and technology points for an action game it's all about technology um so you want this to be rather large for this um and as you can see she just finished the game and I can click finish however there are some bugs and if she doesn't iron them out and I have released the <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. So if I release the game with the bugs, then it won't be as good of a game. Um, and also over here, you have research points. Well, th she gets this whilst uh, here's pause again while working. <laughs> and so you need to get a certain amount of research points, and then you can research new things like new topics and stuff. And I need to finish this game real quick. Um, so yeah. So now we're gonna go through. New topic, new combo. I'm not beating any records because I brought everything back in with me. Although maybe it, you, what it used to do is it used to say, "Oh, you broke, you you broke, you broke your uh, record from last time." I, oh, wait, I guess there really was no record yet. Maybe that's why. So we're gonna go ahead and release this game, <laughs> and hopefully it'll do well. Um, the first reviews for our new, uh, our newly released game, Zombo and Credit Card. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's a terrible name. Um, please forgive me. So let's go ahead and, uh, see. I'm, s I'm seeing, oh, no, six. Oh, no. Oh, no. Er, no. Oh, this is, this is bad. Oh, well, I mean, that's a seven. That's not terrible. And this, this is a six. Well, that's not great for our first game, but that's okay. We'll get back to that. Yeah, so... 
Huh. See, when I pressed F12 for my hotkey for the recording, it actually took two screen caps, apparently. Okay, so that wasn't my best game I've ever made. I've made, like, a perfect 10 out of 10 game, and actually made multiple of those. And I've made a game where it was three tens and one eleven. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I've done that before, and this was really bad. Um, so now it'll show me how many people actually buy this game. Um, too many. It was ranked 69. Uh, 69! But, uh, you know, for the first week, that's not awful, honestly. And now we have 35 fans. Woot woot. So, the thing about this game is you can't really just slow down because you did a good game or bad game. Um, oh, damn, I forgot to generate my game report. Okay, so what you want to do whenever you're playing is you want to generate a game report so that way you know what you did well, what you didn't do well um, for each game. And this will obviously tell you that. So, you know, hey, look, 10,000 people. That's, 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 you know, that's not bad, honestly, for the first game. I'm not going to complain except for later when I get only that much. Uh, that won't be good. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm really sorry that I'm a bit sniffly today. I've just been a little bit sick. Uh, the post-release and uh, an anal isis of Zombo and Credit Card is complete, and we got the following results. Engine seems to be very important for this type of game. <laughs> good to know. Okay, so what we're going to do, instead of actually... Oh yeah, and this just tells you that the G64 is doing better right now. But I don't care, because it'll do really crap later on, and then you'll be glad when you focus on PC. Which is what I learned how to do, which is what I did at the very beginning, because I didn't ever use a, a Commodore 64, which was a real thing, in case you were a bit of a twat and didn't know this. Um, or young. Really young. I mean, yeah. So, we're not going to develop a new game, we're actually going to go research. So the thing about research is that you go into here and you look at things. And so what I can do is I can actually take any of these topics and I can research them for 10 research points. And that'll allow me to create a game with that topic if you aren't intuitive enough to have figured that out on your own. So that'll just take a second and we'll be able to make a fantasy game. Ooh, fantasy. Um, I'm particularly fond of fantasy, like, in real life. Um, so, yeah. So we're gonna make a... Sorry. Ooh, sorry again. Uh, an act of a fantasy game. It's gonna be fantasy RPG. I mean, that should just be intuitively obvious. Um... We're going to call this game... Well, we're going to call it... I made a I'm I once made a game called Diggy Diggy Hole. No, did I? I think I, yeah, I did at one point. Um and if you don't know, that's obviously a reference to <sighs> uh Simon from the Augs cast. Um but I don't want to do that now because I've already made that game. So we're going to call it um a um, a, there we go. A dragon's this, that, that inverted comma, or apostrophe as we like to call them in America, uh, it does belong there. A dragon's tail. But, it's not that kind of tail, it's that kind of tail. Okay, so, did you ever watch that movie, A Knight's Tale? Well, I did, and I freaking love that movie. So, this dragon, this this dragon, um, he's part of this clan, and he's part of the clan that's not allowed to compete in the dragon tournaments because they're the outcasts. They're the they're the dragons playing Dungeons and Dragons. So this one dragon, he decides one day that enough was enough. So he went out and he painted his tail gold. That way people thought that he was actually part of another clan of dragons. But only he and a few of his mates knew that he was in fact still part of the lame clan. 
Well, I say lame. I mean, if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, they're pretty cool. Um, but this is stereotypicalness now. Stereotypical nerdy dragon. Yeah. So he's painted his tail gold, and now he's going out to fight in the tournaments. Um, and then one day somebody finds out. Oh no, he's actually not part of the Golden Tail Clan. He's actually part of the D and D Clan, and so then he has to deal with that, and he, uh, you you become a ninja dragon. And so, as this ninja dragon, you 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 kill the person who said that you weren't actually part of who you were, and then you become horribly, horribly corrupt. Then you kill your entire clan of D and D. No, 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 you're a good guy. Um, you still became the ninja dragon. And you still killed the other guy. However, then you became a knight dragon again, and you started jousting with your golden tail, and you kicked ass, and you be and and then eventually somebody finds out again that you weren't a knight, but in, it, or you weren't part of the right clan, so then he executes you. Yeah, there was. There's not a happy ending to this story. This is nothing like a knight's tale by the end, because at the end of the knight's tale, he becomes an actual knight. But no, you're you get slain. Sorry, <laughs> um, that took me way too long to explain. So graphics V1, uh, per usual. So we'll go three. And okay, I didn't get any design. That sucks. So engines aren't not important. The gameplay is for an RPG is pretty important. But story and quests is the most important thing. So this entire game is going to be based around design. Um you know, I probably should have explained the story whilst this was going on. I'll use that for future reference. Zombo and credit card is now off the market. It sold uh, 14,089 units generating 98,661 in sales. That's, uh, that's 900, uh, that, that's 98,661 pebbles. Not dollars, not quid. Pebbles. Yeah. And not like stones. I mean, like fruity pebbles. Yeah. Why are you here? I guess that's one of life's greatest mysteries, isn't it? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to just go off on tangents of YouTubers and things that are better than me. Because I don't have much to say about myself. Oh, and this is, <laughs> if you weren't paying attention, this is this is about uh, Nin Ninvento um, making the uh, the NES. You know the the T the 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 T E S sort of the test. It's actually how you pronounce that. You don't want to pronounce it T E S because that sounds freaking retarded. So this one uh, sounds not important. And graphics are medium important. I mean, remember Skyrim, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, Skyrim's graphics weren't the best. It's a freaking amazing game, though. I love that game. If and when I get a graphics card, guys, I'll play the hell out of that for you. Um, I'm really hoping, um, hold on for just a sec, I need to actually check, um, here, one sec, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, I need to check and actually make sure that the audio has been recording, yes it has been, okay, I'm sorry, I'm super professional. Uh, okay, so she's gonna finish up this. Oh, the design's not too bad. Um, could be better. Could be better. Uh, any more? Nope. Oh, ooh, an extra tech point. Uh, so this should beat our previous record. Yeah, a new record in design. Perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna click to go through all these really fast. Um, yeah. Well, this will be nice. Hopefully, we get some pretty good reviews. Come on, let's get some 8th and 9th and 10th. Ooh, ooh, 8, ooh, very good. The focus on world designs of this game, well, very well. 7, okay, that's not... In real life, a 7's pretty good. Ah, oh, 6, fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you, mate. Ah, uh, 8. 
Yeah, no. Um, in real life, eights are good. Sevens, you know, not bad. And six is just a bit meh. A bit meh. But not awful. Like, a five is when you're like, yeah, no, I fucked up the game. Uh, let's go ahead and generate a game report. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Uh, yep, 7.25 overall. Not bad. Uh, already sold 6,000. Today, Ninvento has confirmed the recent rumors about announcing the test. And if you're too young to know what that is, that was one of the first gaming consoles other than the Atari 2000. Which, if you don't know what the NES was, then you're not going to know what that is either. It was one of the first consoles. It was the one with the very, very square, very rectangular thing. I don't know why I'm explaining this. I mean, if you were watching this, you should... Uh, uh, AI is not important. You should know. If you don't, then... You're a bit young, aren't you? Hello. What are you doing playing on the computer watching stupid people talk? Um, I doubt it. Because, like, the one person who, um, commented on my last video, which, by the way, hi. Hi. Yeah. I'm going to recognize you. Because you're the first person to ever comment on one of my videos. I'll actually put your name in here later. I'm sorry. I have entirely forgotten. It's been a few weeks now. However, yeah, hi, what's up, you know, I don't think you're young, you might be, but you don't act it, at least, you know, um, I'm sorry, I've gone on a tangent about how awesome that guy is, when I put his name up, you, you guys should all go say hi to him, all like, two of you who would ever even bother, not counting him, sorry, tangents, tangents, um, we're gonna develop another game really quick. We need to create. We we need enough research. That's a big issue right now. We're gonna do a music game. Uh, no, we're not. Cause casual doesn't work. We're gonna create a romance simulation game. Good combo. Only good. But simulations work really really well on PCs. So romance sim, and we're going to call this. Uh um. Romance uh, Sim 1. That's an exclamation point. 1. Um, no. Uh, this will be called the, uh, uh, Sex M Up. Sex M Up Sim. Um, and in this game, I don't know why I'd have to tell you what this game is about, but I will. So, this is a game where, essentially, you need to find a partner. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of partner. They can be any kind of partner. Whatever you're into is just fine, as long as it's not bestiality or pedophilia. Um... Unless, of course, you decide that, you know, you're, you're starting as a child. But you're, like, a really, really sexy child. Ew, that's bad. I shouldn't say that. But I'm going to anyways. Uh, and you're this child who's like, oh, yes, yes, quite. Uh, I will give you wine, and I will give you food, and I will give you sex. Um, I don't know really what else there is to describe. Uh, but uh, the thing is, you're not just any sexing them up. You, you, you're a carpet salesman. No. Yes. If you can start as either the carpet salesman, the carpet salesman's daughter, or his son. The daughter is in her teenage years, and the child, or the, the, the son is in his ten-year-old-ness. You don't get to have sex as a ten-year-old. But you do age in this game, so, you know, eventually, eventually, yeah. And his daughter's, like, 18. I don't want to make it an illegal game, because that would really suck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is, oh, God. I'm an awful person. I am an awful, awful person. I'm, yeah. But whatever, it's fine. I'm allowed to be awful. <laughs> um, as long as I'm not too awful, it's fine. 
Oh, this is um not doing well. Oh, I leveled up a few things. That's not really an important thing. That I don't know. Like like maybe eventually they'll just show that. But I don't know. Uh oh, eight. Ooh, eight. Seven. Not bad. I don't know. Seven. I'm seeing a bit of six. Eight. That's actually not bad. That's a seven point five. That's pretty good for a game that allows near pe uh, pedophilia. I like making money. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm awful. <sighs> oh well. Uh, hi there. Oh yeah, this tells you about contract work. It's essentially. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we liked what you did. Do you want to go do m uh, meaningless tasks to make research points? To make babbies? That's not how babbies are made. Babbies are made by when the male takes his penis and puts it into a female's vagina and they kind of go back and forth. And then the male, like... Uh, liquid explodes out of his the tip of his penis and it goes into the woman and babies Ugh. I really need to stop I mean if there are children because there are a lot of children on YouTube there's nothing wrong with that I'm not one of those people like fuck them um, as long as they're not you know dicks I mean there are a lot that are but there's a lot that aren't either like, I mean, a lot of them are the really quiet, don't actually say anything ones. Which, fucking... Ugh, I would much rather prefer that than a whole bunch of people being dicks. I've used the word dicks as an insult a lot now. I'm gonna switch over to the word cunt. Um, so if you're a cunt, then GTFO. You know, I don't really use, like, text talk with air apostrophes, air quotations um oh not a bad not bad at all um but I'll say GTFO every once in a while but I have one friend who uses uh the thing TTYL you know that thing that nobody's used in over like 10 years now I'm gonna be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. I just need to go do something real quick. Um, I'm a bit, I'm a bit up late right now. Uh, because you know reasons. I feel like I'm breathing into the mic. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, now I wasn't even telling you what I was doing with this. So I just uh, researched custom game engine. What this allows me to do is it allows me to create a custom game <laughs> engine. Essentially, allows me to make better games. So we're going to press OK. Uh, new research available. Game tutorials. Um, so what I can do is I can go to create a custom engine. So this custom engine I can make can have different things. It can have 2D graphics. Ooh, but version 2, so they're even better. A linear story. Oh, yes. Save games. And game tutorials. But I'm not going to bother with that right now. Because... I don't want to. So we're gonna call this game engine, uh, Smeg. Uh, version V, uh, capital V, V 1.0. So, yeah, that's going to be my new engine, and she's going to develop this new engine. And as you go on, engines get bigger and better. Like something else I know. <sighs> oh, I'm awful. I'm sorry, I'm gonna just. Okay. I'm sorry, um. Uh, shift tab, control alt escape. 
Wait, let me get out of here. So I just created the engine, so now I can use it to create better games. I'm sorry, but I don't. I think the game, or I think my recording may have stopped. That's why I'm doing this. Um, bugger, I'm just gonna have to exit. I don't know if it actually has or not. No, it hasn't. No, it did, I think. Um, go away. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, here's my, um, s uh, screen thing. I don't know where I got it. 4chan. Um,. I don't know what was up with that. Whatever, we're gonna just go back to Game Dev Tycoon for a little while longer, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna show off my new engine, and then I'm thinking I'm probably gonna end it there because I've gone long enough. Um, I don't even know what I did. I'm gonna have to, when I am editing this, I'm gonna have to edit a lot of parts together. That'll be fun. So I got studios. Yeah, all that's good. <clears throat> How long have I been going for? I've been going for uh more than thirty three minutes. However, there's a long blank that I'm about to get. I'm gonna have to get rid of. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Uh, shut the fuck up. I do not. I could not give fewer fucks. So we can develop a new game with my new engine. Everything seems louder now. So a new topic. We're gonna go with spy. I don't think I've done a lot of spy stuff recently. A uh, spy action game on the PC because screw everything else. I just I honestly don't touch anything else until the PS1 comes up, which is a thing. Okay, so this is called uh uh J Jack Jackie's. Uh, Chan, no. Um, and so this game is about um this this man who has his uh uh uh, uh his own TV show, but his TV show is about oh by the way I can turn these on is is about how to be a ninja but secretly what he's doing is actually teaching children or he's brainwashing children into being spies for Britain because I said so um that's something you'll learn about me I'm very very bizarre um and I'm proud of it. Oh, so proud of it. Um, but yeah, no. It's, oh, 16 tower. That's pretty good. It's pretty good for Chuck. Design's pretty piss poor, though. So, you know, it's pretty much exactly like Modern Warfare 3. We good? Okay. Um, actually, Modern Warfare 3 wasn't even that great in the technology department. Um,. So, mono sound. Ooh, a lot of these things you're not gonna get if you're if you're part of the younger younger audience. You're not gonna understand pretty much any of what it means by stuff like that. It's wow, so much lag. Ah, oh, six. Come on, come on. Obviously, I haven't done very good in this game. I got I got the devil. One of these days, I'm actually gonna properly learn how to play this game. Blah 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 blah. That's just telling me that I can research a target audience, you know. So that's mature teen and everybody. 
um, game report select. So, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna wrap this up right about here after she's finished up the game report and we see what I did wrong. And let's see, world design doesn't seem to be very important. Well, thank you for telling me this. Okay, so yeah, it'll usually give you really pointless things. So yeah, that'll be the end of the video now. Okay, go away. That's telling you about uh, Vena, which is this version of Sega. So, um, yeah, so that'll be the end of the video now. Um, if you liked this, uh, then tell me in the comments below if you want me to make a series of it. Then I'll do so more than gladly. I love this game. Uh, it's very, very, very fun, especially when you're me and you can just come up with stupid, uh, just stupid stories as you go. Which, like I said, if you're me, you can do that pretty, pretty damn easily. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, uh, tell me down below. If you're not, then just, just type in "fuck you." in the comments. That's fine too. Uh, um So yeah, I think that's about all I need to say. Hopefully next time uh uh um um uh, uh, <sighs> I I may or may not have a slight speak a speech impediment. Um yeah. So hopefully next time uh Mariah here can help me create a better game than we've done so far. Hopefully we can get a 10 out of 10. Because essentially once you get a 10 out of 10, you you just go skyrocketing into the game. However, I... Well, I'll, I'll tell you later. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and uh, take care.